Hi everybody, it's Dr Biology becoming Dr Chemistry just for this video. Um, so I'm going to look at the advanced material for the G AQA GCSE Chemistry Foundation tier. So this is paper one and two. So first of all, what have AQA said? Well, they've said that the format and structure of the papers remains unchanged. So it's exactly the same uh, format as previous exam papers. Um, this paper, the paper, the list shows the major focus of the content of the exam. So I'm going to talk about the major focus and what that means. Um, each paper may cover some or all of the content in the listed topic. Another list shows which required pr practical activities will be assessed. Topics not assessed, either directly or indirectly, have also been listed, although in chemistry there is not a lot that has is not assessed. The information is presented in spec order. I'll talk about what specification is, not in question order. Um, assessment of practical skills, math skills, working scientifically, they're all the same. And for some reason it is not permitted to take this advanced information in the exam. But I'm unsure why you'd want to in the first place. Uh, right, so advice. This is the advice they give. Okay, so basically it's saying revise everything. That's pretty much what it's saying. Um, topics not explicitly given in any list may appear in the low tariff questions or via linked questions. Low tariff just means uh, low marks, so one mark or two marks, for example. Um, the students will still be expected to apply their knowledge to unfamiliar contexts. Right, okay, so you hear a lot about specification codes. So spec codes can be found at this site here. Um, the, this is what your teachers are using, actually. This is what your teachers use to help them formulate their curriculum plan and what they're going to teach you for the exam. So it's quite a good kind of thing to look at because it tells you exactly what you need to learn. Um, you'll notice when you look at it that it has subject content. So this is all the subject content that you might be asked to learn. OK, and then you can see what we mean by spec code. So spec code 4.2 and then 4.2.1 and what it is and what you need to learn for chemical bonds, for example. So this is uh, paper one here, and as you can see, the major focus items are in green, but that doesn't mean the ones in white won't be assessed, okay? So the only topic that won't be assessed is not assessed is chemical cells and fuel cells, okay? So let's just go through the list together. So first of all, very important, this first section comes across in lots of different areas, so learning about atoms, relative atomic mass, electric, electronic charge, isotopes, the periodic table. So the groups of the periodic table will be very important. Um, and then bonding and structures and the properties of matter are very important there, a major focus on that aspect there. Quantitative chemistry, there'll be lower tariff um, marks for that. So what I mean by that is there'll be low numbers of marks in this area, but they still could ask you questions on it or they could link it to other parts of the uh, specification. And then chemical changes, reactions of acids, as you can see there, and that ties in really to two major required practicals there, making salts and neutralization. So there will be questions on these required practicals about reactions of acids, and exothermic and endothermic reactions as well. The temperature changes required practical as well, will be assessed. So paper two, as you can see, is a bit more balanced in terms of what there is. Quite a lot of number of required practicals, I notice. You've got to remember all four. So we'll look at that in a minute. So first, well, let's look at rates of reaction. Very important topic again, and that includes the required practical. Organic chemistry, there's just a major focus on carbon compounds as fuels and feedstock. Chemical analysis, right, this only topic not assessed in paper two is the identification of common gases. But what you do need to know is the identification of ions, okay? And particularly, you've got chromatography for um, required practical six and required practical seven is identifying ions. 
You need to know about the composition of the evolution of Earth's atmosphere, but they could ask you other questions on other parts of that topic. An important topic, again, is using resources. So um, definitely important, the Haber process, recycling, uh, using Earth's resources and required practical aid, which is water purification. Some takeaway advice for you. So there, basically there are very few topics that have been removed, so you will need to learn all of it, not just the major focus points. Please do remember major focus is the higher tariff, so there'll be more marks in those sections, but you still need to know all of the other stuff for the lower tariff marks. Chemistry topics are linked, okay? So it's very difficult to separate out what to learn not what and what not to learn. Um, definitely learn key terms. So keywords, key terms, key principles, all really important. This is a bit of advice I found on the internet re related to um, topic three. So you'll notice topic three is all low tariff, okay? However, as this person says here, um, there are fundamental concepts and there's math skills that feature across most other units so they're almost guaranteed to be included so don't forget that section common topic areas are assessed year after year like many topics in your sciences okay and so past papers are really important I'm sure you've done a mock exam and also I would suggest you do more past paper exam questions to get you prepared for the exam Okay, so I hope you have found that useful. There's going to be more chemistry videos coming shortly. I'll see you soon.